It's hard for me to say what I'm about to say, but it is the duty of every pastor. Last month, a false god was worshipped in a Vatican ceremony as the Pope looked on. The Holy Father seemed disturbed, but he did not stop the blasphemy. The wooden statue known as Pachamama, which Encyclopedia Britannica defines as the Amazonian goddess of the earth, was worshipped. At least one Franciscan priest, as you can see in the videotape, and many others bowed down to this pagan image of a naked pregnant woman. We make mistakes. We falter in our faith. But what happened in Rome last month made it clear that some church leaders have now publicly submitted to another God rather than Christ. Perhaps their intention was to honor the indigenous people, which is good to honor all people. But it was a grave error to bow down before their pagan God. We must pray that they admit their mistake and correct it. Because the worship of idols quickly becomes the worship of demons. And so a group of exorcists have asked that December 6th be a day of fasting, prayer, and reparation for these sins against the faith and the heart of the church. The worship of idols, along with the crimes against children and seminarians by their spiritual fathers, by the priests and bishops of the church, these terrible black spots on the spotless bride of Christ clearly manifest the presence of the demonic within the church. It has been ever so. But some demons, Jesus declares, can only be cast out by prayer and fasting. And so I urge you to offer more intense prayer and fasting on the first Friday of December in atonement. To make our prayer effective, we also must practice some form of penance. Prayer without penance is toothless. We must feel it within our flesh. Fasting from food is the most perfect kind of fasting, but also fasting perhaps from the internet or vain entertainment on that day. My dear brothers and sisters, we cannot pretend that the heart of the church has not been invaded by the powers of the air. With Our Lady, let us call out to Jesus on the cross. That's the sole purpose of all of our lives, to make it to heaven, to be with him one day in paradise. We will be brought to heaven only by clinging to and honoring his divine majesty with all of our heart, with all of our strength, with all of our soul. Viva Cristo Rey.